Okay, I'm Anthony Howell. Uh, this is late June 2010. I was first informed of this site by Manny Houghton, and he was concerned that the uh, mining activity or the gravel quarry over here would affect this site. You know, obviously not, unless they get a lot bigger, but anyways. Uh, He's local, Manny's local historian. Uh, he has written a record of this site of people visiting it since 1880. And it was kind of a tourist thing, you know, people come out to the, visit Shakespeare, ride the horses out here, and have a look at the strange petroglyphs. Now, uh, Manny has the name of the individual that lived down at the bottom of the hill here. And he's was here from 1850 to 1851. He's from Arkansas, his wife and two kids, and they were providing a service to the 49ers that were going to the California Gold Rush. And basically they were uh, harness makers, wagon repairs, uh, he would hunt food, sell them deer, yeah, venison, you know, whatever. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so, anyways, uh, they were not, and he, Manny assumes he's the guy that did that. Now, you know, that's just an assumption on yeah. Manny's part. The other thing Manny told me about was the Jim Peak back over here. That uh, that peak there had three major springs on it, and two of them had some very substantial orchards to it. You wouldn't recognize it today, but you know, anyways, huh? So that would make sense why this is the road, one of the roads to California going out here. You know, and water's a substantial source. Now, uh, that's really about all Manny knows at this point. Besides people coming, you know, it's a real popular place for people to come up and picnic from 18. 1880s up to the 1830s, you know, so and, and what this is, I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> but aliens did not do it. That's somebody of my knowledge. <laughs>